Hi folks, well you see me with this, you are thinking what's this? A new bass, a new crazy bass I, I invented, I moved on to four, back to four strings? No, I'm traveling through time here because this is very for sure the very first electric bass ever made. This is the Bass Fiddle 736 made by Mr. Paul Tudmark in 1935. That's 80 years ago. M some of the people I know knows that Mr. Tudmark was the first to make this. But for those who do not know, now please do. This is the very first electric bass ever made. And uh, I can tell you a little bit about it. Here's the cable, for, for example. It goes from here. Well, they were ex experimenting. There's no hangers for, you know, but you can like hold it and play. Uh, it's a 30 and a half inch scale base made of walnut. I love it because Octavius is made of walnut, my extreme base, so. Uh, 12 millimeters space, half an inch between the spacing of the strings, volume control, and you know what? These pot potentiometer builders, please learn. No cracks for the, that's the original base, 80 years. No dust. Oh my God. You, you can, cannot find that. Look, That's, some of the builders do this, he did it from the beginning, so the string starts here. So, not, not very light bass, I would say this bass is about 5 kilograms, 4 to 5 kilograms, 4 maybe, which in pounds should be around nine pounds approximately that's my guess it's got a i haven't even counted the frets so i will go one <laughs> two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen frets And the, the action is very high because they used to play like that back, back in the days. Very high action. So in order to, to make it, when you press it, pitch goes up. So you have to be very, very careful. I am going to have to practice more so being able to do something on this because it's quite challenging. And the construction of the, of the because of the difference with what I'm used to. But the construction is solid. The has no trust work and I would do, I would dare if it works it works on this side please on this side on the lower string side the line that the frets have it's absolutely straight on this side from the 16th fret till the nut is awesome the, the, the frets, the corners, the edges here, absolutely smooth, smooth like silk. The knot, I think it's, I think it's ebony. It looks like ebony to me. Like, let's do something now. Very symbolic. Eighty-one years. Grandpa and uh, how it's moved on and uh, to all the orth super orthodox uh, bases around man that's evolution we gotta evolve and there are 10 string bases as well and, and more and uh, 
let's keep moving. It's about, it's about music mostly, but this is absolutely a magic moment for all of us, mostly for me. I, I have to say because I'm holding this, but uh, I just want to share, I thank to Bass Musician Magazine for being uh, around this whole situation. Uh, to Mr. Greg Tudmark, the grandson, Mr. Paul Tudmark, to Mr. Peter Bleha, and, and his wife for hosting us <laughs> here, and Valerie Amador and Raul Amador, which is the people behind this musician magazine. Bye to all. I love you and I love what I do. Bye. <laughs>